So I really hope that you like that sequence. It's a little different from the regular B-rolls that I've been doing here on the channel, but it was a whole lot of fun to shoot it, I think, because we haven't actually shot it yet. So the plan with this whole sequence is that we wanna have a lot of feeling into it. It's gonna be like uh, American muscle and we wanna have like the toothpick and we want to have like the intense driving and the cool shots and try to do as much as we possibly can without having this huge camera team that is going to help you help us to shoot everything. And when it comes to the music, it is really important that it has like a super high quality and that it fits the mood of the video that we're going for. And I've been using Artlist.io for the poker b-roll, the hacker b-roll and the office b-roll. And that is why I'm super glad that they wanted to sponsor this video. But the cool thing with Artlist is that not only can you get super high quality tracks for your videos, but you can also get super high quality sound effects for your videos as well. And we use a whole lot of those sounds in this video from Artlist.io. So if you haven't tried out Artlist yet, I'm gonna drop a link down in the description below so you can just go there, try it out and see if you like it. But uh, I think you will. All right, we're gonna start off with some drone shots. All right, so I'm gonna have to fly the drone while I'm inside the car. So I'm gonna switch over to drone view from now on. <laughs> we got some really good shots, man. Ugh! What are you doing? I'm uh, fixing. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually really scary trying to fly the drone in sports mode from the car when we were driving. So I couldn't look on the road. I was like, had to be focused on the, uh, on the drone. But I think the shots turned out really good. And we used like an ND8. And since ND8 was a little bit too bright, we had to crank up the shutter to 1 240th and tried to stay like ISO 100 to make sure that we got the best quality. <laughs> so now we're gonna shoot some in car shots. We're gonna go with the 24 millimeter GM lens. Always before you saw. So when we were shooting inside the car, I used the sh <laughs> So when we were shooting most of the shots in the car and when I'm shooting anything hand handheld, I'm trying to use the uh, Shinobi Atomos to get like the perfect exposure in the shots that I'm taking. But when I'm gonna shoot with gimbal, I'm gonna remove this because we don't want to have unnecessary weight on the gimbal itself when we're shooting. So we wanna make sure that we balance the gimbal correctly. I'm thinking about making a new video on good gimbal shots. What do you think about that? Like, if you would like to see that, do drop a comment below because I'm all ears. Let's see. Ah, splendido. Always lean into the shot. That is something that I've learned during the time that I've been a videographer because you want to get those last couple of seconds.
There's very few things that are better than the Swedish West Coast. Bland kobbar skär, as we say in Sweden. It is really hot outside today. Now we're just gonna focus and see if we can get a shot when Oscar is driving on the bridge and I'm gonna fly the drone next to the bridge and hopefully we are going to get like a sun sunset and glowing sun as he's driving across the bridge. No idea if this is gonna work but I hope it's going to work. A couple of things you always should check when you're flying the drone is SD card and that you have a fully charged battery whenever you're starting a flight and that your remote is charged as well because otherwise you're gonna have a hard time when you're flying. Luckily though the Mavic Air 2 has a built-in uh, hard drive, SD card, SD drive, SSD drive, I don't know. Right now we're just gonna time everything with Oscar as he's driving on the bridge, but if we can get this shot, it is gonna be so good. Like really, really good. Nu är det lärare. Ja, men gör det. Gasa lite. Ja, jag ser det inte än. Fortsätt. Nej, ja. Där. Oh, vad snygg! Oh, vad snygg! Oh, 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 oh! Inte en bil på bron! All right, drone shots are done. Michael here is the kind man that is allowing us to drive this awesome car. And what is it that you do on your company? Like, why, why do you have a car like this? We use it as a, you know, experienced car. We allow people to, to drive this car for, yeah, you know, money. <laughs> so that's why we, we can afford this car. We love to get smiles on people's faces. All right, so if you want to, like, get an experience, and drive this crazy car, then you can go to nordicsupercars.se <laughs> so you can drive it for 20 minutes all by yourself with the instructor, instructor beside you. And uh, trust me, it's one hell of experience. <laughs> so we have this idea that we're going to like try to fake the speedometer and make it look like it's going faster because we can't drive in like 120, 200 miles per hour. So we're gonna rig up the 7200 aimed towards the speedometer and then Oscar is gonna start it up and then it's gonna move all the way across and then back again. All right, I think this is going to work. We're gonna take one on the uh, RPM uh, gosh. Do you say gosh? Excuse me. Varvräknare. <laughs> Hello. Biltima car. All right, I think this is gonna look good. You go. I actually do think this is gonna work oh, as a mad car. So when we jump into the editing process, I think that we're gonna try to mask this out and see if we can like make it look as if the speedometer is moving and then we're gonna add a handheld effect to it so that it shakes, it's gonna be like oh. So I think it's gonna look pretty cool. We're gonna try to get a shot of Oscar like pressing the pedal so that it looks like he's accelerating away and hopefully it's gonna give us this like immersive feeling that it's going really fast and I'm gonna use the 7200 and then we're gonna rig it up so that we have a straight shot into Oscar's feet. Test the holden på bromsen först. Och så snabbt över. Bra, håller den bara lätt på gasen. Och så ner. And that I think is good. So we're currently trying to shoot the uh, like drive-by scenes with the gimbal uh, <laughs> close to the ground and uh, I'm not saying that this is exactly how it went down but it might be something like this that went down. <laughs> <laughs> Osmo action, place it like so, and drive the car all the way across. One of the most important things when you're shooting with different cameras is that you have the same white balance set in this camera as I have in the Sony a7 III. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm shooting at a white balance that is 6200, I think I shot at. And we're also gonna use my smartphone to make sure that we have the perfect exposure. It looks like it's a little bit blown out. So we're gonna up the shutter one two hundredth of a second and we are recording. Let's just hope this works.
Oof. I actually think that looked pretty good. I kind of want to have a little bit more speed. Hey! Is it fun to drive? Hey, it's really fun to drive. <laughs> Drone? Not entirely sure that this is uh, okay, but <laughs> let's fly. Sport mode, dangerous. Ah, it'll be nice. We have no idea we have. How fast did you drive? <laughs> That's our secret. So we're trying to like come up with a final shot because time is finite and uh, we don't have much of it. But we're thinking that like the final shot is gonna be like a hero shot off the Challenger standing somewhere around right here. I think that's a wrap. Thanks so much. Thank you. Michael, thank you, thank you so much. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please do give it a thumbs up because that's that does help a lot. So thanks so much for that. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, that'd be highly appreciated as well. And uh, yeah, here is the final result one more time. <laughs>